a new scientific discovery dramatically transforms what we thought to be true. Journey back over 20,000 years to a time when early humans roamed alongside mammoths in what is now New Mexico. Their footprints preserved for millennia tell a story that challenges our understanding of human migration in North America. Contrary to popular belief, these ancient steps suggest humans were here thousands of years earlier than we thought, rewriting the history of the first Americans. This is not a tale from a fantasy novel, but evidence uncovered from fossilized footprints in New Mexico. These footprints challenge the traditional narrative of human migration after the Ice Age, suggesting that humans made their mark on this continent thousands of years earlier than previously believed. Welcome to White Sands National Park, New Mexico, where thousands of human footprints have been discovered. Radiocarbon dated to an astonishing 23,000 to 21,000 years old. These footprints, found in what was once a prehistoric wetland, offer a tangible connection to early human life, creating a vivid picture of survival, interaction, and existence. In a world teeming with Ice Age giants, with every groundbreaking discovery comes skepticism. Critics questioned the carbon dating method used to determine the age of the footprints, suggesting that the aquatic plant seeds found within the prints could have absorbed old carbon from bedrock, making the footprints appear older than they are. This sparked an intense debate within the archaeological community. Over 75,000 pollen grains per sample from trees like fir and spruce pointed to terrestrial origins thereby sidestepping the old carbon problem. The ages of these pollen grains matched the controversial seeds, strengthening the argument for the antiquity of these footprints. In response to skeptics, a new analysis was conducted using conifer pollen as a witness to the past. To further solidify the case, researchers employed a new dating technique called optically stimulated luminescence, which dates the last time quartz grains saw sunlight. Beyond their age, the footprints tell a story of ancient human activity. From a woman carrying a child, to children playing beside the strides of mammoths and dire wolves, these footprints offer snapshots of life during the last glacial maximum. They humanize the distant past, transforming data points into stories of survival and daily life. These dates have profound implications. They suggest that humans may have traversed the Alaskan land bridge before it was encased in ice, challenging the previous migration narrative. Alternatively, these early settlers might have skirted the Pacific coastline, finding their way to New Mexico's interior. Pollen analysis doesn't just date footprints, it also paints a picture of the environment that cradled early human life. The samples suggest a cooler, wetter climate starkly contrasting. Today's desert vistas and white sands this ancient backdrop provides context for human presence, suggesting that the White Sands offered a habitable refuge for early Americans and the wildlife they lived alongside. With three independent lines of evidence, all pointing to the same age range, the footprints at White Sands are rewriting the timeline of human history in the Americas. They defy the Clovis First model that has dominated archaeology for decades, suggesting that the story of the Americas' first inhabitants is far more ancient and complex than once believed. This opens a new chapter in the quest to understand human migration and the people of a continent. If you like this video, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel and learn more about how we enhance history.